overflows. Surrender to a master, a miracle. Really surrender is unknown. This makes surrender miraculous. Remember when you surrender to a master, it is one of the miracles. It is a miracle because you do not know what is going to happen and what this man is going to do to you. And you can never be certain whether he is real or not. You cannot know to whom you are surrendering and where is he going to lead you. You will try to make certain but very effort means that you are not ready for surrender. If you are absolutely certain before you surrender that this man is going to lead you somewhere to a paradise and then you surrender, it is not surrender at all. You have not surrendered. Surrender is always to the unknown. When Everything is known, there is no surrender. You have already checked that this is going to happen and that two and two are going to make four. Then there is no surrender. You cannot say I surrender because the four is already made certain. In uncertainty, in Insecurity is the surrender. So it is easy to surrender to God because really there is no one to whom you are surrendering and you remain the master. The, it is difficult to surrender to a living master because then you are no longer a master. With God you can go on deceiving because no one is going to ask you. But do not ask me what you can do to surrender. You cannot do anything or you can do only one thing. Be aware of what you can do by doing, what you have gained by doing. Be aware. You have gained much you have gained many miseries, anguishes, nightmares, etc. You have gained. This is what you have gained through your own efforts. This is what ego can gain. Be aware of it, of the misery that you have created positively, actively, without surrendering. Whatsoever you have done to your life be aware of it. That very awareness will help you one day to throw it all and to surrender. And remember that you will be transformed not by surrender to a particular master, by instead by surrender itself. So master is irrelevant. He is not the point. People go on saying, I want to surrender. But to whom? That is not the point. You are missing the point and it is a question of to whom. Just surrendering helps. Not the person to whom you have surrendered. He may not be there or he may not be authentic or he may not be an enlightened one. He may be just a rogue. That is not the point. It is irrelevant. You have surrendered. That helps because now you are vulnerable, open. You have become feminine. The male ego is lost and you have become a feminine womb. The person you have surrendered to may be bogus or may not be. That is not the point. You have surrendered. Now something can happen to you. And many times it has happened that 
even with a false master, disciples have become enlightened. You may be surprised. Even with a false master, disciples have become enlightened. It is reported of a Tibetan master, Milarepa, that he went to a master and he surrendered. Milarepa was a very faithful man, very trusting. So when the master said, you will have to surrender to me, only then I can help. Milarepa said, okay, I surrender. But many persons were jealous. The old followers of that master were jealous of Milarepa because Milarepa was such a different type of a man. He was very mag he was a very magnetic force. They became afraid that if this man remained there, he would become the chief disciple. The, the next master, so they said to the master, this man seems to be false. So first check whether his surrender is real or not. The master said, how should we examine him? They said, tell him to jump from the hill. They were sitting on, on a hill. So the master said, Milarepa, if you have really surrendered, jump from this hill. So he did not wait even to say yes. Instead, he jumped. The disciples thought he would be dead. Then they went down. It took hours for them to go down to the valley. He was just sitting under a tree meditating and he was happy, as happy as he had never been. So they gathered and the disciples thought this must be a mere coincidence. The master was also surprised, how could this happen? So he asked Milarepa privately, what did you do? How did it happen? He said, I have, when I surrendered, there was no question of my doing anything now. You have done something. The master knew well that he had not done anything, so he trained he tried again. One house was on fire. Fire, So he told Milarepa to go in and sit there and only come out of the house when the whole house had become ashes. Milarepa went in. He stayed there for hours. Then the house was just ashes. And when they reached there he was just buried in the ashes he was buried in the ashes but as alive and as blissful as ever milarepa touched his master's feet and said you are doing miracles so the master said it is difficult to think that this is again a coincidence but the followers said this is nothing but a coincidence try again at least three trials are needed they were passing through a village and the master said milarepa the boat has not yet come and the ferryman has not kept his promise so you go walk on the water to the other bank and tell the ferryman to come. Milarepa walked and then the master really thought this was a miracle. He walked and went to the other shore and brought the ferry. The master said, Milarepa, how are you doing it? He said, I just take your name and go on. Milarepa said, I just take your name and go on. It is your name, Master, that helps me. So the Master thought, if my name helps so much, 
He tried to walk on water also, but he drowned. And no one has ever heard about him again. How did it happen? Surrender is the thing, not the master, not the thing to which you surrender. The statue, the temple, the tree, the stone, anything will do. And when you surrender, there has to be a total trust. If you surrender, you become vulnerable to the existence. Then the whole existence takes you into its arms. When you surrender, you become vulnerable, vulnerable to the existence. Then the whole existence takes you into its arms. This story may be just a parable, but the meaning is that when you surrender, the whole existence is for you. The entire existence from all around supports you. The fire, the hill, the river, the valley. Nothing is against you because you are not against anything. The enmity is lost. In the moments of total surrender, enmity is lost, all doubts vanish, tremendous trust is born in you. If you fall from a hill and your bones are broken, it is the bones of your ego. You were resisting. You did not allow the valley to help you. You were helping yourself. You were thinking yourself more wise than the existence. Surrender means you come to realize that whatsoever you do will be stupid and foolish. And you have done many stupid things for many, many lives. That is where you stand. Leave it to the existence itself. You cannot do anything. You have to realize that you are helpless. This realization that I am helpless helps the surrender to happen and trust to be born in you. Surrender is miraculous. Enough for now.